Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 Mets franchise. Here we are, May 22nd. We're going to be doing the quick match for the first two games like usual. And we got uh, Helixson versus Steven Matz. Steven Matz has been struggling all year, 1 in 6. Hoping to turn things around for himself and the Mets. Uh, just not pitching well at all. Um, which is a shame. We got to see what we can get with. And putting Ligaris, oops, putting Ligaris in for the tired Conforto. And let's see here. I think we should be okay with this lineup. Let's get the game started. Hopefully we could have Matt's win. So far so good. Alright, puts two men on. Alright, a single by Kano drives in McNeil. Another single, this time by Cespedes, another run scored. Another single that loads it up for Wilson Ramos and Fielder's Choice. That's a single by Lowry, that's amazing. So it's only one out, three one scored already. Fielder's Choice and Matt's with a strikeout. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Alonso, two for two. Cano, pop up. Cespedes. Gosh. Oh my gosh, you're killing me, Mads. Ah. Oh boy. Uh. Pitch a contact and give up two at home in a solo. Tie game. Those you with a home run. This is killing me, man. Oh my gosh. Bro, are we kidding here, Matt? You are absolutely awful. <sighs> absolutely killing me, man. And we lost eight to three. One sort of being the play of the game. Yo, really, Steven Matz? One and seven now? Bro, unbelievable. Now we have Keichel, hopefully to try to tie the series up. We do another quick manage game like usual. That's really disappointing, man. Really disappointing. Thought we could win the series from the Nationals, but looks like ain't gonna happen. Uh, let's make some lineup changes here. Let's put Rosario for Neil. Cespedes does a day off. Still trying to figure out how to get Nimmo in this team, but I don't know it's gonna be a bit interesting because this team stacked so far, you know. Oh my god, cool. there you go. The Lons are really hitting the ball pretty well. Porto just really cold right now, man. Okay. Stolen base. <sighs> Bad decision. He lands with another single. Jeez, man. Damn it! Two run home to Rendon. 
Stole a whole bunch of Zimmerman. Come on, guys. Base up, two outs. Feel the choice. Keiko. Really? Zimmer with two home runs this game? Lose seven nothing, Keichel. With a loss, now six and two in the Mets lose that series, and we are down a little more in the standings. Now the Nationals are the number one team in the East. The Mets 27 and 23, Nationals 30 and 20. We're 50 games into the season, and we we can't have this, man. We need to be a lot closer, win some games, especially the ones I simulate. That kills me, man. But we're gonna be going. Into Detroit for some interleague play against the Tigers. We're going to have Jacob DeGrom versus Michael Fulmer. DeGrom looking for a sixth win. Um, won his last outing. And we're going to try to win this game. Uh, I like the World Games because I want to see other stadiums. But man, that's... Oh no. I guess we're going to be playing in City Field. And I don't know, man. They just... A damn shame. Three and two to Harrison. Stop the game. This is in the air out we'll to pop right up field. To Conforto. Conforto. Out number one. Let's take a look at the lineups for the Tigers. With that, man, that is just the starting nine for the Tigers. Man. Especially Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new I don't series. Think, man. Anyways, yeah, Josh Harrison, an Jordy Mercer, Miguel Cabrera, Castellanos, Nico Goodrum, Masuk, Pemolario, Grayson Griner, Michael Fulmer. Both count to Cabrera. Green to miss and a fastball, hitting over. I was actually down the middle, surprised Cabrera did not destroy that ball. That's a strike again, good one. On the change up. Second strike out of the game for the Grom. Team a two bag one lead. Three and a miss on a curveball back to back strikeouts for the Grom. And the inning is over. Two. Grom is made a curveball. And the Grom is locked in. Fourth strike out already in the game. To the former. A swing and a miss, miss and he over. Two, two strikeouts again for the Grom. The inning is over. Right there. He's able to keep his yeah. hands inside that ball, stay yeah. square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now. Nico Goodrum. And strong fastball, inning over. As he says, you gotta be Smoked on the ground up the oh, middle. Goodness. He just can't seem to get anybody on base. And it's four or nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing in the end of the fourth. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone. What a catch, we can Fordo. Alright, thanks, Heidi. Need some range. Four out number one in the fifth. Granimus and a curveball, inning over. That's the Grom seventh strike out of the game. He looks good. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now he spins on one here. Well, that's gonna be a shot by Lowry. Could be a home run. No, it hits the wall. And that's gonna be a leadoff double by Jed Lowry. That's the second hit of the game. So he's in and the that's the first uh, actually base hit by the Mets. Let's take a look at the double leaders for the Mets, and he is tied with Wilson Ramos, which is weird because he's so department. slow. Uh, but he's tied with Wilson Ramos with 11. He's out in foul territory. 
Yeah, if we use Stav as saying right here. You would base hit? Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a no base way. hit. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was close. That is a base hit by Travis Darno. Moving Lowry to third base. So I might actually do a suicide squeeze. With a uh, ground here for the put off. That would be fantastic. Stepping in now, Jacob DeGrom. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's Come a ball on, and two strikes now. He's going to be looking down at the third base coach right now, hoping he takes this bunt sign off. It's just a lost art in today's game. A square to bun, and it's popped up. That's a strikeout. And that's a Damn foul the ground. ball. He's down on strikes for the first now out. Number six. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. It was a walk in his last base. Oh gosh, it stopped. There, and the two out oh, the McNeil snuck that in there for the, the run, but. Lifted in the air. That's gonna be a good shot center. by Alonzo. He's gonna make it to the warning track, and, and it does. It's gonna be a double for him. That's a ground rule double. It's a seventh double of the year. He continues to break the ball for the Mets. Well, he hit that Putting the in scoring position here in the sixth inning. No outs. That is a shot by Confort. This is going to be a home run, I think. Oh my gosh, right at the wall. That moves uh, Alonzo to third base. Gosh, I thought that was going to be a home run. Full count, two outs. Throws. On the ground to third. Does that he is have a grounder to, to first and is out. And that is seven scrolls into the, the ground so far. Pitching fantastic. That's her up bat next. Mm -hmm. Two strikes. Mercer, base is loaded. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full countdown. He's loaded for Mercer. Well, no doubt in my mind. Runs going. A swing and a mm. shot hit down the corner. Mm. Would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. Oh, uh, no. To left field. And, oh, he missed There's two a runs. Run by a of a third a run. Oh, and the throwback is Oh, my ball. gosh. Just a three-run double. So all three runners are in to score. Jordy Mercy, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Popped up. All right, it's going to pop up two. And that's going to go the ball game's over. And Detroit and wins 3 0. And the ground gets a loss because of my greediness. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I could pull that out by right having pitched at least eight innings. He was just on fire, but given that, given that double, if you run double, that was basically it. The Mets' offense was non existent, not able to put things together as Jordy Mercer. With a two run triple, a uh, two, three run double, rather than the Lane Hardy gets the rim, just one out. It's a shame, man. That's a shame. It was just a well pitched game by DeGrom, just that eighth inning blunder. So now we've lost three straight, and we're going to be playing next game uh, with Steven Matz. Who's <laughs> struggling? I guess that's the best word I can really say. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button, leave any comments below, uh, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get the latest video updates. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. Yeah.